a comfortable day's work for Chelsea in Spain, beating Porto by two goals to nil. Mason Mount giving Thomas Tuchel's side the lead shield, well, making it 2-0 going into the second leg in London next week. Well, Frank Lebeuf is still with us. Gab Marcotti and Stuart Robson join the show as well. Robbo, job done, really? It certainly was. I don't think Chelsea played at their best. Uh, they didn't have to play at their best. I mean, the front players didn't play well at all. Timo Werner had a poor game. Havertz hardly had a touch of the ball. But they defended well, I thought, all over the pitch, particularly the two midfield players. And the back three, I thought, defended really well. And uh, they didn't have too many problems. They had problems at set plays. Uh, Porto looked a threat at set plays. And they had one or two chances in the second half, maybe. But overall, Chelsea controlled the game yes. without playing at their very best. They controlled the game without the ball rather than with it. A huge result, of course, in the grand scheme of things and their ambitions to win the Champions League, Gab, even more so after that defeat against West Brom. Yeah, I think it was important to, to, to go out and get a reaction. Um, Porto attacked them from the start, I saw. And, you know, remember, Chelsea's first shot on target was, was Mason Mount's uh, goal set up by Jorginho, no less, after, uh, after half an hour. As, as Robbo said, uh, they had their chances, but Chelsea hung in there and stayed calm and, and let their, their superior quality make the difference. And I thought, you know, in the end, it wasn't just Chilwell's goal. Uh, Pulisic hit the woodwork before that, and, uh, and they came through. But uh, still issues up front, in my opinion. Frank, I'm not one to bring up your bad takes. Obviously, you've already made a big <laughs> faux pas in saying that Neymar shouldn't have started. You also said you'd have preferred Chelsea to get PSG in the Champions League draw for the quarterfinals. Would you like to retract that statement as well now? <laughs> uh, well, that, that would be possible. I want to see uh, Tuchel <laughs> going back to the Parc des Princes. You know, that would <laughs> no, be fun no, to watch. No, when the draw was made oh. and I said, you got Porto, you're like, we'd have preferred PSG because they would have been up for that game more. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I'm sorry, yeah, sorry. Um, well, you know, I don't care as long as Chelsea wins and win the way, you know, they, 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 they did today, being very strong. And, uh, and I, I, don't, I don't think it's... Uh, you have to under, underestimate the Portuguese. Um, they may be not the best in, the, in, the, in Europe in the, last, uh, in the last team that we have, but you, you still have to, uh, to, to give... Not your best, but maybe a, a very serious performance to to go through, and it's what Chelsea did today. The, do, the job is not is not done yet. You know, you have a return, and as Gap said, you know, we still have. I mean, Chelsea still has a problem at front. You know, uh, Chelsea keeps on winning, except last week, but they still have a problem. There is one thing what we are sure of is that Mason Mount should play every game. Yeah. Because that guy makes the difference. Otherwise, the others. Question marks for all of them. So let's just remind you, remember, the draw has already been made for the semi-finals as well. So say Chelsea advance, they will then play the winners of Real Madrid or Liverpool, most likely, of course, to be Real Madrid. So if you're a Chelsea supporter, you're very happy with your position at the moment. According to the bookies, as it stands, Chelsea are second favourites to win the Champions League and replicate what they did in 2012. Robbo, do you agree with the bookies here? To a certain degree, because I think they've got half the job done tonight. Uh, Real Madrid and Liverpool aren't at their very best. Real Madrid, I thought, were good last night against Liverpool. But I think if they go through and play Real Madrid, Chelsea have got every chance. And if they defend like they did today and they get the wing-backs high up the field and they get more from their front players, and, and, and everybody's right, their front players aren't playing well enough at the moment. We talked about Timo Werner, we talked about Habits. If they can get their front players playing better, they've got every chance of getting through to this Champions League final. There's no doubt about that. Frank, I was told you had a shocked face when you saw those odds. Yeah, 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 really. Um, I mean... I mean, really, um, we talked with Jürgen Klinsmann, you know, about the fact that Bayern Munich is not done yet. So I, I know the, booking, the bookies are wrong. You know, you cannot say you can have, you know, a feeling, but you cannot say that Chelsea maybe has a chance to win the Champions League. I think they're still far away from even thinking of that. No, but here's the because, thing, Frank. Here's, um, a, here's the thing. If, if, I'm, if I'm, like, from the bookies' perspective, yeah, right. Say Bayern Munich come from behind, whatever, knock out PSG. They're still going to face Manchester City or Borussia Dortmund, probably City. So then City or Bayern Munich go through to the final. Chelsea have an easier path to the final. Then it's a one-off match. So that's why they've got them and the odds are so favourable to Chelsea. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. And uh, of course, on, in one game, you can, uh, you, 
you, you don't know what can happen, and it happened for them when they play against Bayern Munich in 2012, away from home in a way, uh, playing the final in Munich. And it, it can be, it's, it's possible. But as uh, Robo just said, you know, they will have to be more consistent at mm. front. They will have to be stronger in the middle of the park in order to just hope of winning something. Manchester City, Bayern Munich, PSG, I think, are still better right now than, than Chelsea. It will be a lot of circumstances to, to see Chelsea getting the trophy. I wish them, I really wish them, but it will be really something amazing. If you're Chelsea right now, you want to swap places with anyone, would you, Gab? Uh, no, you wouldn't, because City, Bayern, Bayern and PSG are pretty good, but um, relative to Chelsea, but uh, that's an understatement. But um, we're also talking, this also suggests that, you know, whoever Chelsea play in the semifinals, uh, assuming they get through, are, 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 you know, are basically a bunch of, of cream puffs, and, and <laughs> they're not. Uh, Real Madrid may have had a horrendous start to the season, but, you know, if they win the Clasico uh, this weekend... Uh, they'll be in a pretty good position to challenge for the Liga title. Um, the, the Courtois, you, Modric, uh, Kroos, the way they performed against Liverpool, again, you know, not against a bunch of no-names, uh, that was pretty convincing. Equally, if you put them head-to-head, -head, Chelsea against Liverpool, it doesn't strike me that Chelsea ought to be massive, overwhelming favourites. So I think there's still a ton of work to do. And, uh, uh, yeah, I, I find those odds a little bit curious that people are so emphatic in having them as second favourites. I, I agree fully. And listen, I, I understand why PSG and Bayern Munich are, are below uh, Chelsea in the betting odds, given they're in the other half of the draw. And to your question, yes, right now Chelsea is in the best position of everybody uh, left in the competition yeah, because, massive, of, because of their a, win. And, uh, exactly. Right. But let, freely assuming that Real Madrid complete the job against, against Liverpool um, and Chelsea do the same against Porto, I I think right now, I think Real have... I, I make them favourites. Right. Over a Chelsea team, as good a performance as it was, and Robbo touching it, you're playing, you're going into what is effectively... A, well, what is a Champions League semi-final with no strikers, or your strikers desperately out of form and lacking confidence. I, you don't do that in, in... You know, you can't get away with that in Champions, Champions League semi-finals. If those two come head-to-head -head as... Score lines right now suggest, I think Real beat them. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.